Hello guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Six, and you are listening to the first ever scripted weather update. Um, I will be gone until Friday afternoon. I leave today at 3, so, um, well, you know, I just can't give weather updates. So, very nice and bright outside, as you can see, if I get out of the way here. Hmm, that's funny. It, if my head's there, it makes the whole entire screen be like you can't see anything but now you can see it looks pretty nice outside a whole bunch of clouds though uh it's gonna be like this all day possible storms later today a few storms may be severe high winds and today it will be 85 degrees tomorrow it's gonna be 87 high winds with scattered thunderstorms a few of those may be severe also same thing Tuesday, except for it's going to be 83 degrees. We'll keep an eye on those scattered storms, a few severe. But, of course, I won't be here, so uh, do stay tuned to, uh, well, really anybody that um, I follow on Instagram that has to do with the weather. They will give you guys updates. Don't you guys worry. They will, and trust me, they will help you. So, um... Also, Wednesday, it's going to be 80 degrees with some scattered storms. Same thing Thursday, it's going to be, or, Wednesday, it's going to be 80 with some scattered storms. Thursday, it's going to be 83, again, with scattered storms. Those days could be severe also. But, of course, I won't know what the SPC says for Wednesday and Thursday because I won't be here. But today, tomorrow, and Tuesday, SPC does have us on slight, which means that there is a 15% per, chance of um, storms occurring in the area. And um, severe storms, that is. Friday, it's going to be 83 degrees and showers across the area, which... Um, but but then if you head into the weekend, I'll be back by then. But it, when you head into the weekend, more scattered storms. I know that's exactly what you guys wanted to hear. For the tropics in the Atlantic, we are watching an invest. Uh, it has a 60% chance of formation in 48 hours. Another 60% chance of formation in 5 days. Uh, an Air Force Reserve aircraft is scheduled to investigate the system later this afternoon. Um, next update will be at 2 in the afternoon. I will still be here for that update. I'll post onto Instagram, um, what the update on the storm is. However, I will not get the 8 p.m. update, which will probably be the one that the AFR, um, Air For Forest Reserve Aircraft gets all of its information into the National Hurricane Center, which then it's probably going to become a system, I would say, probably later this week, Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so keep an eye on that, especially if you're in the Yucatan Peninsula, where it is now. And then if you watch that all the way up the coast, um, parallel to Mexico City and Monterey. And then really, please watch it in uh, Texas, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, Corpus Christi. In Houston, you are in the path of this storm, um, so please, please keep an eye on that. Uh, that will definitely have impact on the southern United States in southern Texas. Uh, that could not be good, like, after the flooding in Texas, we hope that it's not that bad. think it's only going to become a tropical storm, but um, you guys should be fine. Um... But still, that could bring a whole bunch of heavy rain. Uh, Eastern Pacific, we are watching a Category 1 hurricane, Hurricane Carlos. Um, it does have tropical storm warnings, hurricane watches, and hurricane warnings for parts of southern Mexico. But those areas will not be the area that it makes landfall. It will make landfall as a Category 1 hurricane, probably. Parallel to, what city is that? Guadalajara, maybe? Oh, I'm going to move and look at my map um yes guadalajara yes it is guadalajara so parallel to guadalajara where that part of mexico sticks out that is where we will be watching this storm um 
Carlos to hit. Uh, that will bring heavy rainfall to the coast. Hurricane warnings are expected later this week. Um, our hurricane warnings are temporary. Uh, are currently in effect for Punta San Telmo to Tepan de Galena. Um, hurricane watch for um, west of Punta San Telmo to uh, Mananzillo and Tropical Storm Warning in effect f east of Tecpan de Galena to Maldolano. Of course, I cannot pronounce the Spanish class e stuff even though I had a year of Spanish class and I totally failed my St. Charles Spanish test. But anyway, um, yeah, um, sorry this went so long, but, you know, I had to get all this stuff in because I'm going to be gone this week. Um, enjoy the storms, have fun, and, uh, as always, keep an eye on the weather.